Good day everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is another painting from my coloring book. If you're interested in coloring along with me, the name and under the name that it is published, publisher's name is at the end of the video. There's two screenshots if you are interested. So for this one, I had to use markers again. This is the second page that I ran out of paper for when I was drawing everything and I had to use two sheets of marker paper. So I had to dust off the old markers again and just go in. I wanted to keep this moth um, very neutral, but I also wanted to use my um, gel pens. I got these really cheap gel pens. They're called neon color one millimeter just color just neon color <laughs> um pens that i got and i wanted to really incorporate them into at least one of them so i did like a very quick base there as you can see i don't use my markers very often so i wanted to do a background as well just something a bit more i didn't really know what to do with the background so i just did like the swirly darkness kind of thing in the back I, I kind of like it. It makes the little moth guy pop. But I wanted to keep his um, colors very neutral. So I pulled out my gel pens and they're pretty cool. They just take a long time to dry. So <laughs> I had to be so careful while I was busy with these. Um, I added a lot of little dots and stuff to it. And then closer to the end, I'll do a close-up view of everything. But my pink mat that I use behind this, it's like a cutting board kind of thing for your art. But I use it to paint on. Because it's, it's plastic and flat. <laughs> but it is covered in paint and marker and everything. As you can see there at the top, I went over with the marker again. But it still does the job quite nicely. Um, so <clears throat> the markers are always super quick for me. So I decided not to speed up everything because otherwise you guys would have a two minute video. And I'm trying to keep all my videos like 10 minutes at least. Um, the arty videos in any case. Uh, so I did a little bit of yellow ugh, orange lining at the bottom of the moth just to make those... Um, patterns at the bottom pop a bit more and then um, these markers were like 25 rand super cheap so I, I've used them before in one of my sketchbook I did like a massive page or not a massive page but a spread of just using these purple markers or pens they're okay like I have no complaints about them. They do the job pretty well. Um, they remind me of Jelly, the Jelly White Ink gel roll pen. Just, they work all the time. You don't have to buy like seven of them and hope one of them works. <laughs> and I've got bad luck with the Jelly Roll pens. But they're amazing. The white highlight, it's, it's the best one I've used when it works. Um, I don't use these guys very often because I don't really know what to do with them, to be honest. But I, 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 I'm I, happy I incorporated them in this piece. Um, it's a lot of dot work, a lot of little thingies here and there. But this moth was more along the line of a tattoo design, I guess. Um, I think these were the last pages I did this one and the previous one for my coloring book. And... The last things I drew, um, I didn't really know what to draw, so I decided to go like tattoo style because I, I I was running on blanks for the last like five pages, so I just sat down and drew, and this morph was one of the things that popped out. Um, very simplistic, very patterny, and I think you can come up with some interesting um, ways to color this guy. So I'd like to see your versions as well. <laughs> and if you do decide to upload it somewhere, you can just tag me my on YouTube. My, um, or just leave a comment if you, you upload it on your channel and I'll go check it out. I don't know how tags and stuff work. I'm we're not very technological. So I decided to add a couple of dots to the top there. And then I didn't want to do too much for the bottom because I like the light blue. 
um i wanted to stick with like the very earthy tones but i wanted the blue in as well even if it's just like a little bit i'm glad i did put it in it breaks all the greens but i really like that green i used <laughs> i think i'm gonna do a piece just of that green sometime soon um i'm almost finished with one of my other sketchbooks so hopefully soon you guys will have a sketchbook tour as well unless i decide i don't want to work in my sketchbooks for another year i do have one sketchbook i haven't worked in in three years that's like halfway and I've been forcing myself to actually use that one instead of the new one. But that one's paper is so thin. But anyway, back to the, the drawing. Um, so all the dots and stuff. <clears throat> all the dots and stuff, yeah. But yeah, so the markers I very rarely use. And I'm, I'm glad I decided to use them. For this piece instead of forcing watercolor on this paper because that would not have gone down well i've used watercolor on marker paper before it does not does not like it very much um <clears throat> i'm sorry i've got a burn in my throat and it is burning um where did i put it so i added all the green dots and this green is not as bright as the others, but it does have a little bit of brightness to it. But I didn't want it to be overly bright to take away from the natural tones, um, which I'm glad about. So I just did like super tiny little dots at the bottom. And then I went in with another yellowy color and added like a whole bunch of dots. It was, yeah. So the dot work was supposed to add like a little bit of texture, but I see it doesn't really show up very well on camera. Um, hopefully when I do the in zoomy zoom, it's going to show up better. <laughs> um, I'm still figuring out, I, I quite like the setup I've got going now with the uh, tripod and the phone like this. It's much better than my previous setup. I've just got very minimal space to work because I've I've put it on a table and I had to put a table in front of the table and then my chair and then behind my chair is my bed. So I've got no space to put my legs. I'm sitting like crisscross and every time I stand up my legs are dead and get spins and needles and then I fall down. <laughs> but it works, it works. Um I figured it out and I, I I like the way it looks as well. Like you guys can still see. I know my hands in front of it quite often, but I don't know how to do the hangy phone or the phone from straight up top. So I hope you guys like this. Leave a comment if it looks okay to you guys. Um, and if you've made it this far, you can also leave a comment on what your favorite flying critter is. I obviously like these moths, but I also like bumblebees. They are so cute over there. They just should not fly towards me because then I flail and run inside. And if I'm out inside, I flail and run outside. But they are adorable. I love them. Um, <laughs> but I just did like a lot of little dots here. Oh, if you guys want to see me color more of these. <clears throat> I drew all of these by hand, by the way. Um, this is basically a series that's running on my channel now. And there's a lot of these videos already up on my channel if you want to see more. And if you want to see some of the newer ones, please, please, please consider liking and subscribing. I would so appreciate it. It makes me so happy every time I see a couple of new subscribers have joined my channel. Um, if you'd like to see more of this. And it's going to be, I think, like five odd videos and then five videos of Study Valley at the moment is what I'm playing. Um until I start uploading the bunny series. The bunny series is going to be massive. It's a new coloring book I'm working on. But I need to finish it first before I start uploading it. Um, so I'm busy with quite a few projects for you guys. And I am very excited for you guys to be a part of it. And see it as it grows. Um. So I just added a couple of more dots here and there, just to like highlight. I didn't want to do too much because, I mean, these pens are cool, but I haven't really used them on markers. And a lot of 
a lot of the times these gel pens kind of absorb the marker from below this one hasn't done it yet but i haven't used it as much so yeah i'm very happy with how this turned out though it came out very nice and then i just decided to add a couple of stars to the back a little bit more detail here and there get everything nice and smoothed out and this is the final sorry for a bit shaky there i had to hold the phone by hand this is the final product um i hope you guys like it i absolutely adore it i would have liked to make the background a bit more flowy but my markers are turning dry because i haven't used them so that's the best i can do um I'm quite happy with all the little bits and bobs of detail I added and uh, the green I don't know why but I love that green it's, I want to say it reminds me of olives but I don't know um, the greys also flew, uh, flowed nicely with the whole piece and yeah happy happy if you guys enjoyed this video please consider liking and subscribing and if you want to color along with me um, I'm going to show you guys a screenshot I took of my coloring book, the name, and under what name I published it <clears throat> just now. It is HMB Creations, and you can just type into Amazon Fantasy Scene Coloring Book Original Images Hand Drawn, <laughs> and that is the cover. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and have a wonderful day. <laughs> I am going to sleep now. Thank you. Again, I really appreciate you guys. Like, I really, really appreciate you guys. Bye.